विद्या प्रकाशन मंदिर प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस लर्न जनरल साइंस फॉर क्लास सिक्स फ्रॉम द बुक साइंस स्क्वायर लेट अस लर्न चैप्टर सेवन थिंग्स अराउंड अस इन दिस चैप्टर we shall discuss about characteristics of living organisms such as movement growth reproduction responsiveness cellular structure adaptation and also about the characteristics of non living things such as mass volume density and weight let us begin the chapter when you walk in a city park or countryside you will see enormous variety of living organisms such as birds insects plants people animals etc when you are inside your house you will see non living things such as table chairs pens pencils paper books tv etc biologists classify the things around us as into two groups as plants and animals characteristics of living organisms plants are most successful organisms on the earth as they are self sufficient certain animals depend on plants for their food animals vary from minute single cell that is unicellular amoeba to huge blue whale however there are certain characteristics that make living organisms unique that is special other by we can distinguish living organisms from non living objects all living organisms have cellular structure and have the ability to grow reproduce respond and perform certain activities which non living objects cannot do movement that is the first, let us discuss about the first characteristics movement animals move from one place to another in search of food and shelter during the times of danger also they move fastly to help to escape from danger fishes such as salmon uses fins to swim few kilometers in search of food and mate similarly kangaroo hops to graze on the grass by movement that is kangaroo hops hopping is a movement salmon swims swimming is a movement as far as plants are concerned only the parts of the plant will move the stem of the money plant known as pothos bends the leaves towards the sunlight that is the movement of the plant maximum growth and the development the growth is not just an increase in size as you think it is a complex process of development for example a tadpole that is frog swims for weeks in a summer pond and later becomes an adult frog sitting near the edge of the water this means those that different organisms will grow at different rates infant to human is 18 years yes that growth and the, this includes growth and the development it is not only increase in size but also a development in the brain and other details also puppies to dog few years 
Lima bean seed to plant. Few weeks. Egg to and butterfly. Few days. So growth takes place differently at different rates in the organisms. The next characteristics is a lifespan. What is meaning of lifespan? It is a length of a particular organism that can be expected to live. It varies in organisms. Adult mayfly lives only for one day. Dog lives for 13 years. Horse lives for 20 to 30 years. Alligator lives for 60 56 years. Blue whale lives for 100 years. Human lives for 117 years. Asiatic elephant lives for 78 years. Tortoise lives for 152 years. Bristol cone pine tree lives for 5,500 years. The next characteristics is a reproduction. What is a reproduction? It is a biological process by which an individual organism produces offsprings, that is the kids of their own kind, is known as reproduction. Animals reproduce by producing the young ones of their own kind. Cow Reproducing to produce a young cow. That's it. Elephant producing young elephant. Birds lay their eggs in the nest, which hatches to young bird. Some animals produce their egg ones through eggs. Some animals give birth to young ones. Plants also reproduce through seeds which germinates and grow into new plants. Some plants reproduce through other parts other than the seeds. So, reproduction takes place in both plants, animals and as well as birds. Animals reproduce by producing the egg ones. Some animals produce their egg ones by producing eggs or by giving birth. Yes, a elephant and cow Produce their young ones through by giving birth to the young ones. Whereas some animals will produce the eggs. You can take an example chicken. Birds lay their eggs in the nest which hatches to the young bird. Plants produce seeds and seeds germinate to form a new plants. Sometimes some plants also reproduce through other parts. That is, except the seeds, other than seeds, like leaf, stem, uh, leaf, stem. These are also other parts uh, which produces plants. Responsiveness. The smell of toast, eggs, food, etc. makes your mouth watery. Similarly, plants also respond to their environment. This refers to responding to the signals in their environment. Each of the signals to which an organism reacts is known as stimulus. Stimulus is nothing but as a signal to which an organism reacting to the environment. A stimulus refers to any change in their environment or surroundings of an organism that produces a response. When your mother cook, if you smell what happens to you, you know what she is cooking for you. Is it not? That is the responsiveness. Similarly, plants also respond to the environment. Heat, light, touch, everything are in the signals in the environment. The plant responds to the particular environment. That signal only we will call it as a stimulus. We can say that a stimulus is some kind of action of an organism in response to the environment. 
cellular structure. All living things, both plants and animals, are made up of tiny units called cells. All cells are made up of protoplasm. Each cell consists of three parts, namely cell membrane, cytoplasm and the nucleus. Each cell has three parts, namely cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. But plant cell possess rigid cell wall and chloroplast which is absent in the animal cell. On the other hand, animal cell possess lysosome which is not seen in the plant cell. So, this is the characteristics difference between animal cell and the plant cell. Plant cell has rigid cell wall and chloroplast which is absent in the animal cell. On the other hand, animal cell has lysosome which is absent in the plant cell. Adaptations All living organisms develop certain characteristics which help them to live and survive in their environment. This is known as adaptation. The trunk is a special feature of all elephants to tear large branches from trees. Birds have light and hollow bones to fly. Plants also undergo adaptation. The stem of the desert plant performs photosynthesis, stores water, reduces its leaves to spines to minimize the evaporation because in desert we cannot see water and so they don't want to lose the water and they want, in order to store the water the leaves will become spines so that the evaporation is reduced if the leaf is broad if the leaf is broad then evaporation will be maximum because smaller surface area minimize the evaporation so the leaf since it has been reduced to spines stem will take the position of the leaf and becomes green in color, performs photosynthesis for food. And you can see the root system is widespread. That is wherever water gathers, it starts absorbing the water too. Let us read the differences between plants and animals. Let us take the characteristics nutrition. Plants are autotrophic because they can prepare their own food. Animals are heterotrophic because they depend on food for on the plants. Locomotion, that is the movement. Only the parts will move with the plant in response to light, water, gravity, touch, etc. Whereas animals move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. When we take growth as a characteristic, plants grow indefinitely, whereas animals growth is definite because there is no cell wall in the animals and so they don't they do possess definite shape characteristics of non living things we see many non living things such as books tables chairs pens pencils every day in our everyday life all these consist of matter which is made up of molecules. The main characteristics of non-living things includes they possess mass that is weight. They are in volume. They occupy space. They are heavy mass so weight. They possess density that is mass by volume will give you the density they occupy. Mass. The, generally the matter has mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object, that is weight. It does not change unless it is either removed or added to the object. The amount of mass in all kinds of matter is not the same. Iron has more weight than aluminium and wood. So we say the matter is 
more in an object. Mass is measured in units called grams g and kilograms kg. Let us perform an experiment to understand mass. Take three balls having same volume made up of iron, aluminium and wood. Find out the weight by placing it on the weighing balance. Okay. You are taking three balls, iron, aluminium and wooden. Now you need to see the weight of these balls separately in a weighing machine. What do you do observe? You will see that iron is the heaviest. That is because it is 78.8 grams. While wooden ball is a lighter than the aluminium ball which is just 50 grams. Iron is 788 grams while aluminium is 270 grams. So you know mass is more in iron, lesser in wooden. So what result would you conclude? It proves that mass is not the same in all matter. Let us discuss about volume. An important property of matter is that it occupies space. The amount of space occupied by an object is called its volume. It is expressed in liters, milliliters, cubic centimeters, etc. This is liters. Weight. You have probably noticed that a ball or a ball thrown up in air soon falls to the ground. Why? This is because the earth's force of attraction for them pulls them down. The force of attraction on objects we will call it as a gravity. The pull of the gravity of an object is the weight of an object. That is, your weight is a direct measure of earth's force pulling you towards the surface. The pull of gravity between objects weakens as the distance between the centers of the objects become greater. That is, when you pull the object is pulled towards the center of the gravity. So the gravity becomes more than the object. So at high altitudes on the top of a tall mountain you will feel less, weight less than on the surface of the earth. Density. The density of an object is its mass per unit volume. Objects with a density less than 1 gram per milliliter is the density of the water. You will float on the water. That is, the object which you are seeing is less than 1 gram. Hence, it is floating. Objects with density greater than 1 gram will sink. It is expressed in grams per milliliter or grams per cubic centimeter. Let us now learn the difference between living organisms and non-living things. When you take the characteristics, we know that living organisms will move from one place to another or in case of plants, the movement takes place not from one place to another, but towards. Whereas in non-living things, it is fixed in one place unless otherwise you move. When you take the growth as consideration, living organisms will grow and develop, while non-living organisms do not grow and develop. But they can change in their forms. That is, for example, if you take mountain, mountains are not, just grow. They do not just like that grow. Sands, uh, muds, clay, everything together forms a mountain. Structure. The living organisms are made up of cells. 
while non living things are made up of molecules reproduction living organisms do reproduce but non living organisms do not reproduce stimulus that is responsiveness living organisms do respond to light gravity sunlight and external temperatures while non living things do not respond to any environment respiration living organisms do respire while as non non living things do not respire excretion living organisms do excrete while non living things do not excrete let us have a chapter recap living things can move grow reproduce respond to stimulus and perform certain chemical activities all living organisms will have a cellular structure different organisms grow at different rates reproduction is a process by which living organisms give rise to their own kind a stimulus is any change in the environment or surroundings of an organism that produces a response a response is some action or movement of an organism both plants and animals undergo adaptations for their survival adaptation is a process in which a living organism learns to survive and reproduce in its environment general properties of matter that is non living things will definitely have mass weight volume and density mass is a amount of matter in an object volume is a amount of space an object takes up the pull of gravity on an object is a weight density is an object mass per unit volume this ends the chapter 7 vidya prakashan mandir private limited